Greetings, dear friends. Welcome to Alatra TV India. Today we are going to talk about a very important issue about the creative society, the world that everybody would like to live in. And finally, we people have such a wonderful opportunity, such a great chance to change the format of our society and live in a better world. But we can build it only together. And uh, it's time to stop being silent and voice in what world, in what society we would like to live in. I would like to introduce my co-host today, Dr. Jacqueline Mahadik, and she is a person who invited our esteemed guest to this conversation. Welcome, Dr. Jacqueline, to our conversation. Yeah, it was my pleasure to be on this Creative Society along with you. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, yeah, hi everyone. Yes, with great pleasure. I would like to introduce today's guest, Mr. Ankur Jagan Gawade, founder of World Wide Green Project, the member of Think Tank of Government of Maharashtra, teacher, global educator, author. Welcome, sir, on Creative Society on board. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Now, sir, I would like to ask you, could you please tell us a little about yourself, what do you think it is important in life, what values you value the most? Hello, everyone. I'm Ankush Gavande, founder of the Worldwide Green Project, Think Tank member of the Gorom Dev Maharashtra, and then uh, uh, I'm global educator, innovative educator, and uh, uh, author. I think uh, everyone should do something for the uh, while living life. Something must be uh, done for the society. Uh, when you as a teacher want to create uh, the next generation and the most important value is to create awareness among the student in various ways. Uh, so I started the international uh, worldwide green project uh, to create the public awareness among students around the world to protect the environment. Okay, thank you. It's, it's, you're right, is it? That we should do something for us and for the society. Okay, what is yeah. your primary focus nowadays? Uh, today, my primary focus is on girls' education and as well as uh, planting 1 million, it means uh, 10 lakh trees, uh, by 2025, uh, by creating environmental uh, awareness among the students around the world. Uh, the problem Thank of you. the environment is really very important and urgent nowadays, right? And it's better when uh, people of all ages know about that issue. And it's really great that you raise such topics in your uh, in your work. It's very important. Thank, Thank you, Mr. Ankush. And as Thank we are you. talking today about the creative society, the society of a completely new format, yeah, of a creative format where all people live as friends uh, with each other, yeah, in friendship and in unity. And um, we uh, have the eight foundations of the creative society, and uh, we know that you read an article about the eight foundations and the creative society, right? And uh, let's firstly watch a short video about how these eight foundations were formed, and then we will discuss them. <music> The biggest social polling in our entire history of civilization has been conducted during the last 10 years by people around the world. 180 countries, millions of people of different social statuses, denominations, nationalities talk about the society in which they want to live in. And this is a creative society based on the answers of the people from around the world, eight foundations of creative society were established. A society where all people can live in happiness, peace, and prosperity. This is that very society that our prophets bequeath to us. All prophets talk about the value of life, freedom, honesty, common human values, equality before God, mutual respect, and unification of people about love for each other. 
They talked about the common truth and about the world which we can create. The prophet said, there will be a time when we're able to build a creative society. We are honored to live in the time which the prophets talked about. When everyone is chosen. It's a great uh, news, yeah, that we live in such a world and in such a time when everyone is chosen. And at the same time, it's such a great responsibility uh, on us, right? And Mr. Ankush, uh, can you tell us, please, what is your favorite uh, foundation of the Creative Society and why? I'm very interested uh, to join these uh, foundations. And uh, you are all doing amazing work. This initiative is very, very nice yeah. to join the society, to create something uh, for the society and all your foundation is really great. Yes. And why are they so essential? Why do you think only in such, only if we accept and live according to these uh, foundations, we can really live in the creative society? Why are they so important for living in another kind of world? Yes, because uh, if we need to uh, create a uh, uh, very nice society, it means uh, uh, for uh, our students. Uh, I'm teacher, that's why I'm uh, talking uh, for student only. So our student is our next generation. So this time, if we aware them to do something uh, for our society, so that that means that's why we need to do something for and join uh, uh, by unity by this uh, uh, your creative society. And what can we do for this unity? Yes, we need to do uh, something new. Uh, it means uh, aware, uh, like girls' education, like environment, like to uh, uh, forget nationalities and do something by unity. So it is possible to really change everything and change uh, for better only when we are united, yeah? Only when we consider yeah, our forces, our energy and direct our attention to the, to the, right, to the right point, let's say so. <laughs> and yeah, you definitely. are completely right about all this um, different kind of crisis yeah, that take place nowadays. And I would like to mention about the very important event that took place on the 24th of July. That was International Global Conference, Global Crisis. This already affects everyone. Where specialists and scientists from various fields gave a holistic overview of the global crisis we are facing as humanity nowadays. And it's really an event of a global scale because uh, people from all over the world participated in this uh, event and also uh, a great amount of people watched it and uh, firstly let's watch a short video about the raised issues that were discussed there and then we will also discuss this conference a little bit. Modern civilization has entered the stage of instability and global crisis. The future has already arrived. In the field of artificial intelligence, I really understand that today we see tremendous opportunities and possibilities. We will have human level intelligence and general problem solving uh, and that we could have that pretty soon. And in the consumer society we live in today, it will leave us jobless. Hello, you are fired. Every owner of some corporation will create a number of machines, fill it with artificial intelligence, so a human being will simply become out of demand in this chain. Millions of people around the world have already become climate refugees. The events are developing at a shocking speed. The force of cataclysms is growing in progression. Their frequency is increasing every day. What you can see here is in red are the amount of this particular uh, uh, characteristic of uh, the planet, you know, that is left. 
and we can see that in many cases we have lost more than 60, 50, 60, 70 percent of this particular ecosystem or species. We are eating our planet. Maybe it's time we realize our responsibility and solve our problems together. Because sudden large-scale natural disasters occur on the planet on a daily basis. And there are fewer and fewer safe places. Soon everyone will be hungry, barefoot, naked. Because of consumerism, we are the generation that will see it through. Either we can stand up to it, or it will end with us. One hundred eighty countries on the platform of a Latra international public movement. It is broadcast live on thousands of YouTube and other streaming channels. Moreover, thanks to volunteers from around the world who understand the importance of this event, the conference is simultaneously translated into 72 languages. The main value in a creative society is human life, your life, the life of your children, your loved ones. Only together can we find solutions. And we all want peace and happiness. And together, we can create this world. Mm, as for me, I really liked this conference so much because, first of all, it gives a really um, whole scale of the situation, uh, objective point of view on it, of all kind of crisis that we are facing nowadays. But... Uh, and it's really hard to observe it. It it makes me really sad on the one hand. But on the other hand, there is a solution to all these problems, you know. And this solution is to unite and to build a creative society that will change, that will help to change all our life for better and uh, deal with all kind of crises that, um, that are happening nowadays, really. So, Mr. Ankush, could you please share your understanding why is it so important to raise these questions to let people be aware of what is really happening in the world how important it is uh, for the humanity and for the future could you please share your understanding yes uh, if we build if you want to build the uh, society creative society uh, we need to come together and do something for this society uh, because the planet is one and uh, now this time we need to save the planet mm -hmm. uh, you know mr ankush in the conference it is uh, mentioned and explained that uh, what humans are doing yeah with the activities i mean water pollution air pollution and all ki kinds of all such things yeah that we destroy our our ecology you know this environment where we live in but all these floods earthquakes and uh, uh, volcanic eruptions and so on that that uh, are happening nowadays uh, it's a, a cyclic process you know it's not we cannot uh, really influence on it somehow it's a cycle which happens in 12,000 years you know and we are lucky to live now <laughs> in this period of um, uh, of changing the planet let's say so you know and that is why uh, the problem is uh, that people think that it's about our um, activity yeah actually we do destroy a lot of in our society yeah, and ecology, but we cannot influence somehow on real global processes with our planet that that is happening. So uh, uh, do, do you know about this information? Yes, actually, I my, my view is uh, if we start something, it's all, uh, definitely become change. Uh, actually, I'm uh, connected with a uh, my project with uh, uh, near about 40 countries, teachers and students. And my experience, if we want to do something, it's definitely be changed. So uh, that's why I think uh, need to start, need to aware uh, students or teachers or the peoples, uh, they will be 
change definitely uh, you can start don't think how start can, uh, the progress yes start to yes start to aware uh, the students or the teachers or the uh, people to do something something for the society something for the creative society uh, we can't control the cycling of the environment like this earthquake of uh, flowers but uh, we can help the uh, which country uh, like this uh, affected by the earthquake earthquake or flowers so we can help them by create the society uh, by create the unity by create, uh, coming together we can help each other mm. we can't control this uh, challenge but we, we can help them yeah if we unite yeah yeah if we unite together right we can help each other yeah and we can do lot of we things. can't we can't stop the earthquake we can't stop the earthquake or uh, floods but we can help them which are affected which area affected uh, by this yeah problems. because when uh, the problem of refugees is very uh, crucial yeah and very essential and very big nowadays let's say so yeah because it's a very uh, un unprotected uh, uh, how to say part of the society yeah and they are not welcome anywhere but uh, in fact any person in on our planet nowadays with such a situation that we are having nowadays can become a refugee tomorrow yeah and who knows who will have to go somewhere and to be this refugee and if we are not uh, united and we, if we don't understand that another person is like my brother or sister yeah that all people are just one big family that we should uh, support and help each other with all means we yeah, have right. yeah, of course yeah it, it will be very hard to survive but if we just know that my brother from another country will, will come here yeah and it's my duty to help him because uh he is also a human and it means we are one big family then we will, uh, these people will be treated in a completely different way and they will also feel different when they come because we, when we have to accept uh, refugees we do not we think only about ourselves that we feel uncomfortable when somebody comes yeah but uh, what uh, we don't even think how other people feel because they have to leave their homes yeah the place where they always lived and felt comfortable and they feel that they are not welcome in another place but if we live in the creative society and uh, we know wh wherever we go we are always welcome yeah Th then it will be a completely different feeling and a completely different atmosphere for all people around unity is the key to overcome all challenges that we face as humanity and that is the key to build the world where we can live happily in your opinion what unites all people in the world regardless of any statuses nationalities religions and any other affiliations what do we all have in common my opinion if uh, tomorrow's awake and progressive uh, society is to be created then students need to be uh, awake uh, from today uh, viruses like uh, corona as well as uh, viruses uh, uh, global problems uh, are an obstacle to the societies uh, need to work together to overcome such obstacles and therefore students need to be taught peace lessons and the uh, environmental awareness uh, from today it means if you want to become a great human you need to uh, become or create the uh, uh, unity so this one this common in all questions i think unity is most important here so to forget the all the uh, yes religions or nationality and uh, to create the great society by uh, creating unity uh, can unite by the creative society your foundations or uh, your conferences this is uh, conferences and this uh, your creative society foundation is really great initiative to to uh, make the unity so uh, i uh, uh, challenge the all uh, peoples around the world can join uh, by this uh, uh, creative society and by this creative society we can 
make the uni uh, unity. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's a very good point. That is an idea that yeah. can unite people, yeah? Uh, a, a wish, a desire to, to, to live in, in another kind of world, yeah? In another format. Very good idea that you have mentioned because we have another video uh, and let's watch it that somehow proves your words and we'll discuss it a little bit more. What is synchronization and how does it work in practice? Let's look at a symbolic example. Can one man move a heavy rock out of place? He can't, because it is too heavy. It takes several people. But even if several people push the rock, each in his own direction, it will stay where it was. Their efforts are not directed towards the same goal, so they cancel each other out. The individualism, egoism, and endless divisions that prevail in the consumerist format of society make society like a rock, going nowhere, and worse, even falling apart. But once the group is aligned on a goal, everyone knows exactly where they want to move the rock. Then they focus their attention, potential, and action on the common goal and achieve it with ease. Today, the whole of humanity is such a group of people, and the common goal to which we must dedicate ourselves for the survival and flourishing of our civilization is the creative society. This goal cannot be achieved by any one person alone, nor by any one country, religion, or any other group of people. The creative society can only be built by all of us together as a united humanity working towards a common goal. The role of every human being in this is immense. Let us see how the power of attention grows as the group grows, and with it, the chances of achieving the goal. Konstantin Eduardovich Sokolsky said the following about the power of unity. People who will learn to unite will enter the golden age and unification also has its own law. Two auras reinforce each other seven times. If people are like-minded people, the wave is the same. It is directed towards one goal. Three people, seven squared. That is, 49 times. Four people, 343 times. If there are 10 people, they reinforce each other by seven to the ninth degree by more than 40 million times. Therefore, the more people there are, the more valuable each next one is. It multiplies the strength many times over. The team is a great power. The power of collective attention directed towards the same goal is therefore not the sum of the power of the individuals, but grows exponentially with each new member of the group. And therefore, together, we have the power to change the world. So, my friend, you are not alone. Small, powerless, and insignificant, as no human being is. We are all human beings first, and united, we can do anything. Even overcome global cataclysms and build a creative society, where every human life is what it really is. The highest value. That's really very inspiring, yeah, uh, very inspiring information, yeah, and uh, to, uh, for people especially who think what, what I can do, uh, I'm not, not important and so on, and this information really shows that each person is very valuable, right? Mr. Ankush, do you have any comments on this video? Yes, uh, by seeing this video uh, in my mind, uh, only one stick have not value, but the bundle of sticks uh, can it's very valuable. So need to come together and make unity to do something for the um, building of the society. So really very nice initiative. So unity is most important thing. And by this video, I think unity can become uh, through this creative society, definitely.
Thank you very much. And uh, in order to really build the creative society, we need 99% of people in the world to understand its meaning yeah, mm -hmm. and to uh, wish to build this society. So could you please share your ideas how we all together can complete the first informational stage? So inform all people around the world that uh, about this chance. Yes, of course. Uh, when more and more people in the society should be advanced in the society, and that is the uh, that is why the future uh, of us and our next generation is bright for this. It is necessary uh, for the important and uh, sensible and the responsible people uh, to come together to build the society, and uh, through that it is uh, necessary to under. Uh, take various activities for the awareness of the society. And how can we inform all people? Uh, how can we reach each person in the world and tell uh, them that there is such a chance to build a creative society, that there is a chance to change the format, but we must do it only together and united. How can we bring this information to each person in the yes. world? Uh, your initiative is very, uh, very nice like this. Uh, your answer is given by uh, this event. Uh, we can make the chain like this. Uh, you can join the Jacqueline ma'am. Jacqueline ma'am, invite me in this program. Uh, so I aware uh, other people to make the, it's important to make the chain. So by this chain, we can uh, join the peoples around the world and definitely this chain can change. So this, this is a task of each person to bring this information from heart to heart. Yeah? Yes, yes, sir. yes, definitely. And to hand over to others. You rightly said, as we are from different countries, we might have different bases, we might have different ideologies. But in the end, whatever we use to define ourselves is to render reductant by the fact that all we all are human. Of course, this is the one thing that unites us together. As we are testing the theory of six and six, who would you like to invite to discuss global challenges of the society and the vision of creative society? Yes, I would like to uh, invite my friend, Corina uh, Suzda. She is from uh, Romania and uh, she is co-founder also. And she is working with me uh, uh, for my project, Worldwide Dream Project, and uh, she is really brilliant and uh, uh, very active teacher, uh, and she also connected globally. So I would like to invite her in this uh, day to society. Thank you very much. We, will, we are looking forward to meeting her and talking about the Creative Society. And thank you, Mr. Ankush, for being with us today, for sharing your understanding of the creative society, of dealing with issues and problems that humanity is facing nowadays. And we uh, invite everyone who understands the importance of uh, uh, this idea and the importance of building the creative society to join uh, this project by going to the website Alat Reunites dot com and press the button join us and uh, uh, choose the way to participate and uh, you become a participant of a creative society project and uh, we this way we are implementing the first stage informational stage that is the hardest one uh, but the most important one to inform each person about this opportunity so dear friends please join this project and invite your friends and family and people around you to join this project to support this idea because as you you've known from the video about synchronization that it is uh, our 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 ability is very powerful but in order to use it we must have one the same goal and the same direction of our efforts. That is why let's concentrate on the most important thing, on saving our civilization, on saving our planet, on saving our life. I think we deserve it to live in a better world, to have a future for us and for our children and to have a really bright future for all, for all of us. Because as 
we understood from today's video, everyone is chosen. And it's a great responsibility that, but if we have this responsibility, we must fulfill it. So dear friends, please welcome us, welcome to join us uh, in this project, because it's really the task of the whole humanity. And also at, this, uh, at the end of our conversation, I would like to announce another global conference will, which will take place on the 4th of December 2021. And this will also be about the global crisis, the time for truth. And it will be another um, global conference of a really global scale where people will also speak about what we are facing nowadays, about all kinds of crises that people are facing that humanity is facing but at the same time we have the way out and uh, to and just to have this way out we just need to unite to be aware of what is happening yeah to complete this informational stage and uh, i am inviting you dear guest and dr jacqueline and all people who are watching this to join us on the 4th of December. It will be interesting, I promise. <laughs> and uh, let's watch let's watch the trailer about upcoming conference. Thank you very much. See you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for inviting me uh, to discuss these great uh, of uh, problems and great uh, initiative. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining and sharing your understandings. It's very important because each person counts and each per person is important. Thank you. And yes, Dr. Jokin, yes. thank you for co-hosting this interview. Thank you so much. See you again. See you. Today, our world is facing the greatest challenge of civilization. Why are we, all people, not coping with it? The official aim of international covenants and agreements is to curb climate change. But why does the climate continue to change at a catastrophic rate? Why is the global media silent about the scale of these threats? What diverts people's attention from these risks, environmental catastrophes, and an increase in CO2? To what environmental consequences has mindless consumerism led? What is the real cause of global climate change? Nothing is more important today than information about how our humanity can survive and save our planet. Now, it's time to tell the truth while we still have a chance to make a difference. December 4th, live broadcast, International Online Conference, Global Crisis.
time for the truth. A hundred languages of simultaneous interpreting. Organized by volunteers from 180 countries. Truth purifies. Truth unites. Truth gives a chance to live. Join us. Global crisis. Time for the truth.